So it's a matter of what? Knowing that there's power and this. Authority. You get it? Amen. With authority, you would do anything with people. You, you can lie, even lie to them, they can follow you. It's still you can lie to them, they can still even listen to you. You can lie to them, they can still even listen to you. To them, they can still even listen to you. It is still authority. But when there's power, there's no lie. There's no what? There's no lie. You get it? Amen. There's no lie. So Jesus is here to bless you. Tell him, I need you, Lord. I need your power. I need your reality. I need your truth. For the truth sets me free. Be free today. Be free today. When we talk about authority, we talk about what men can do without executing it. The centurion was a man under authority. And he was under the authority of Jesus Christ. But what he says first is he's a man of authority as well. But he he couldn't execute. Jesus had to execute on his behalf. Simply because he defined submission to Jesus. I'm a man of authority. Stand up. Where's your seat? I was sitting here, Papa. Huh? I was sitting here. You were? I was sitting here, Papa. How, do, how were you sitting there? They removed the chair. Huh? They removed the chair, Papa. They removed the chair. Stand yes. up. If you're a man of... <laughs> of what? Of... Authority. How the muna watau? A man of authority, not a man of authority, as if only it. A man of God. Mutanka wamudi. Isingo karenta uloki acha. A man of what? A man of what? Mutanka wamudi. Authority. When authority is given, how na yule taul? You get it, ne? Power must be given as well. Yeah, no, no, no. Power must be given. Do we love yes. Jesus Christ? Amen. So forget about your neighbor. I want to help you. You're not going to speak with authority. Stand up. You must speak with what? Stand up. It makes him lost. What man? Hello. Are you good? Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, Papa. Now we have to execute. This is the moment to execute. You can pass judgment without executing judgment. Ah, somebody does not get You can pass judgment without executing it. So if somebody passes judgment on you, we are here to be redeemed. You are here to be to be redeemed. You are here to be to be redeemed. The 
mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, say I'm here. And every execution which never happened in my life Today, everything gets to be pushed. It will work out for me. It will work out for, for me. It will work out for who? For me. It will work out for who? For me. If there was anything in your life which could not move, speak execution today. Speak execution today. Are we clear? Speak what? Execution. Are we clear? Amen. Speak what? Execution. Do you love a king? Amen. Do you love a... We're going to pray right now. I want you to speak. Let execution. Everything is like hanging, but it was supposed to happen. Speak execution. Whatever that is hanging and it cannot happen, speak execution. Speak execution. So I'm confronting everything that has been hanging to come your way. Are we clear? Amen. To come your, to come your way. When? If I talk about your way, you must get it, ne? To come your, your way. So you must not travel there empty-handed. You must not travel there empty, empty-handed. Speak right now. I want you like to open your mouth. Speak. Speak now. Speak now. Allow execution to happen. Forget about your neighbor. Speak now. Speak. 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 Open your lips. Just speak. 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 Don't be afraid of saying it and fighting it. Speak command it to leave you. Now authority with power shall take place. Authority with power shall do what? Speak, 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 speak. Speak. Sister, this one. Jesus Christ. This one. Sister. Sister. What's your name? It's Luanda. Who? Luanda. 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 Luanda from? Zoletu, Zoletu. Zoletu. Who did you come with? My parents. Your parents, come with the parents. Are you the only child? No, we You're are three. The child. All of the children, let them come. All of the children, let them come. God loves you, ne? God loves you, ne? Amen. God is with you, ne? How many children? Let the children come this side. You have this stomach problem, ne? Mm-hmm. No? Amen. No? Amen. You'd have the same. You'd have the same. You'd have stomach discomfort. No? Amen. Coming from? I'm from Soviet. You'd have stomach problems. Yes. You'll have stomach problems. Yes. You'll have stomach problems. Amen. Why a common thing? Do you have stomach problems? Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, Papa. Huh? Now, why when I look at you, everything, you're going to suffer the same? Huh? 
Yes, we are. You suffer common things. Yes. If it's menstrual issues, Amen. all of you going through the same thing. My belly is swelling. Huh? My belly is swelling. If your belly is swelling, the stomach issues. So I'm seeing a common thing. Huh? Yes, my uncle. Huh? Yes. Who's, who came first? <laughs> you came first. Number two. Second. Number three. And number one, the, the pro. You're, you're going to this. So I'm looking at you and say, let's just start with you now. This is going to be trouble. Mm. This is going to be trouble. You get it, ne? Yes, ma'am. Though your mom is married. Are you married? Yes. Huh? Yes, Papa. To who? To this man, Papa. Now, you guys, what are you facing? Stomach problems. Stomach problems. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Is the relationship becoming more okay? This man might end up providing and providing and supporting without any man in your lives. Hmm? Yes, huh? mm. Am I right? Yes. Huh? Yes. Are you happy with that, my friend? I'm happy. I mean, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not happy. No, he's, he's not, not happy. No. It troubles him, eh? Yes, a lot. It, he cries about it. Yes. He struggles about it. Yes. It's like he's speaking alone. Yes. What's happening with my children? Yes. My friend. <laughs> <laughs> huh? He tells me all the time that he is worried about us. Thank you. Let's live for Jesus. <laughs> he says it. He says it, but now, that's what I'm talking about, the pro. But you all experience the same thing. Look at your stomach. Yes, even the doctors just can't see. Everything is confusion and everything. You get it? So that's what I'm saying, you all experience the same thing. But now this man will not end up being someone who helps, helps, helps without you getting any breakthrough. Yes, he is doing that even now. Huh? Yes, he's doing that even now. What is he doing? He's providing for us, but without us getting breakthroughs. Let's live for Jesus. So, <laughs> are you happy? I'm happy. So, because now they say you complain about it. Yeah, I'm complaining every day. You do speak about it. Yes. God loves you. God is going to bless you guys, ne? Jesus. The Lord is giving you breakthrough today, ne? Amen. So, don't worry, this one will take care of his girlfriend. You guys must just go. Someone must take care. Yes, man of God. Eh? Because you're going through the same thing. You also. It's yes, the same Papa. thing. Why this thing is common with you? I don't know, Papa. There's a case. There's a case. You get, you, you get what I mean, eh? Yes, Papa. There's a case. So let's break it because... If we see marriage happening here, here it's over. Here it's over. You get it? Because there's this stomach problem from your family side. You get it, ne? Yes, Papa. There's someone who died with this. There was death with this. I want you to come properly. It's going to cause problems and it causes trouble. It's not just stomach problem. You get it, ne? Papa. It's visitations in your dreams. Huh? It's visitations in your dreams. Mm -hmm. You can't have a husband in the dream. And not have a husband in the spiritual, in the in the in the physical. In me. In the physical. But you're troubled today. You get it now, ne? Yes, Papa. Jesus Christ is going to bless you. God is, in other words, we are setting you free. Mm, thank you. You can have four wives. <laughs> four wives that you take care of. <laughs> because he's crying, am I right? Yes, he's the one. I'm, I'm staying in Middleburg and they're staying in Soweto. Mm. And then I was complaining to him this week and then he, he told me that, don't do me, so please come. Uh, let us go and visit um, but uh, Pastor Lesio, let's go there. So I asked for a day today at work to come here. What did you say you must visit me for what? 
<laughs> for breakthrough for breakthrough yes who's breakthrough <laughs> he has to be free because it will trouble him it will it's not nice to look at your family suffering like this because you're all going through the same thing menstrual issues as well huh yeah. menstrual issues amen you get it it will hit you hard you won't that's why when i look at you first the some say but would you come with because i see this is a problem with the family you understand eh? yes papa but god is going to bless you guys eh? god is going to bless you by the name of jesus by the name of jesus get out let them get out get out get out get out by the name of jesus get out you satan get out by the name of jesus get out this man is going to suffer but jesus christ stops the suffering he can have four wives by the name of jesus get out live thank you jesus by the name of jesus My sin name of Jesus. You will leave them. My sin name of Jesus. Father bless you children. Restore them. Get out! Get out! Leave them! Leave them! The mighty name of Jesus! Get out! Get out! Leave! 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 Move! 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 move. You leave that stomach. Look look at the stomach. Look at the stomach. Look at the stomach. Look at the stomach. Look now. Look. Now see what you didn't see when she was standing now. Look at this. Look at the stomach. Look. I want to look closely now. Look at the stomach now. Look at the stomach. In the mighty name of Jesus. Look. You see it's like a baby inside. You move out of that stomach. You settle out. 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 Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You live. Mm. 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 Jesus. We'll see it becoming better now. We'll see it becoming better now. Going down. Going down. No longer bulgy like before. Jesus Christ gives a life in Jesus' name. Let's live for Jesus. Look at that. Look at that now. Where am I? In the mighty name of Jesus. Stand up. Stand up, guys. Good love you. That's what I'm saying. He's not going to have four wives. They will have the future. Check your stomach. Check your stomach now. <laughs> How's the difference now? I'm feeling a bit relieved. I'm feeling relieved. You feel light now, no? 
What loves you? Check check us the mics over the pins. How do you feel? Nothing. How do you feel, our oh, sister? Nothing. Huh? You you look like your father. Eh? <laughs> hey, mother, mother. <laughs> God loves you. Don't worry. Now God opens everything. You get it, no? Eh? God opens everything. I want you to relax and just trust in God. Take yours. Take yours. Take yours. If you said let's go to Pastor Lesema. You needed to relieve, you need help. Yes. Hmm? Yes. You need the help, no? Yes. Because it's not good to see your daughters. They are beautiful daughters. Yes. But what they going through? Who do you stay with? In Melbourne I stay alone. You stay alone. Yes, man of God. And it's painful, no? Yes, it is. I've been struggling a lot and mm. I'm I'm bothering him. No? Huh? I'm bothering my dad and he's stressing me out. It's stressing him out, no? Yeah, it's stressing me out also. It's stressing you out also. Yes. Look at your daughter and smile. And smile. Your lives will never be the same, no? Amen. God loves you. God loves you. Be careful of friends, no? Amen. Huh? Amen. Hmm? Amen. Be careful of friends. Amen. Because you are now with friends, no? Amen. No? Amen. Please, company, no? Mm-hmm. I'm coming to you straight. Do you know about it? No, but you don't no, know, Papa. No? no. You don't know? No. You understand why people say be careful of friends? Mm-hmm. You don't know? No, I don't. You don't know? I don't know. You don't know? No, Papa. You don't know? <clears throat> Let's see here. Yes, man. Because you do have, like, attracting some people who are not good. Amen. Huh? Amen. Huh? Amen, Mom. You do realize, but... You get it? They mm-hmm. don't know. But don't you know? I know. Huh? I know. Oh, please, it's a warning. Please, this is a warning. Be careful of that. Because I don't want what God blesses you with now to be interrupted with. I want you to see your success. Amen. And you see, because you'd feel itchiness. Amen. Huh? You know about it? Yes. Huh? Yes. Your legs. Your legs will be itchy. <laughs> huh? Huh? Amen. You know about it? Yes. Please. This one I'm talking about, do you experience it? It's hair. Yes. It's hair. Amen. Be careful Amen. of who you are close to. Yes, ma'am. No? Yes, ma'am. You get it, no? Amen. Sophie, this one, this, you get Sophie? Who's Sophie? I don't know anyone. You don't know anyone, anyone, Sophie? Yes. Okay, we're coming now. We're coming. Mm. You were at how, where are you now? You at high school, no? No. You were. Yes, yes, yes. I was. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You were. Yes. At high school. Yes, one. The some girls that you were together. Yes. When I said stop friendship, you get it, no? Amen. And I spoke about Sophie because the name drops in. Amen. Because you had friends there. Huh? This issue, it started just a little. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Amen. You'll be itchy here. Yes. But friends that are ladies and touching each other funny. Amen. <laughs> Am I right? Amen. Am I right? Amen. Am I right? Yes, man of God. Now you remember now. Mm-hmm. Now you remember. Yes. You were messed up at high school. High school. You, you remember now. Mm-hmm. God will take you back. Because you were young Amen. at the time. But holding each other not in a good way. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Huh? Yes, man of God. Please be careful. That's why I want to warn you now. Because you, you suffer with this itchiness of the legs. Amen. It's spiritual. Don't. Eh. As girls. No? Amen. Clear now. Amen. You remember now? Yes, I do. Huh? Yes. Let's live for Jesus. Please. I want you to focus. Because some children don't come with the same background. Mm. Everybody goes where they go. 
And when you meet, everybody comes carrying what they carry. You get it, no? Amen. And there's something talking about your legs. You'll be itchy. You, you. How long? Did you know about it? You say you know about it. Um, um, I can't remember, but you used to tell me. That what? Alex itches. Alex? Itches. Where did you get from? Where did you get it from? From friends, high school. High school. You get it, ne? Amen. Please, this is just a warning. Because anything might interfere. Because if you started attracting that, it can cause trouble. Ne? Amen. So if God blesses you now, let nothing come and steal. Amen. The blessing, ne? Amen. Let's go for Jesus now. Give it to drink. Give it to drink. Give it to drink. Give it to drink. Give him to rest. <laughs> God loves you. Please be careful of that. Yeah? Amen. Yes, be careful of that because even your intelligence was. Mm-hmm. Amen. Are you? Amen. You remember now? Yes, I do. Even the intelligence was disturbed. Mm-hmm. You get it because you were so clever. You are good. Huh? Amen. Do you Amen. people know about it? Do you know your daughter? Not that much, Papa. Why don't you have a relationship with your daughter? You're like blind and... <laughs> you, don't know, you, have, you don't have a relationship with your children? No, Papa. You don't have a relationship with your children? Why? No, Papa. I don't know, Papa. Please. You don't have a relationship with your children? No, Papa. Why? I don't know, Papa. Are you happy with this? No. Are you happy with this? No. Are you happy with this? No. Why don't you have a relationship with your children? I don't know, Papa. You live like that? Yes, Papa. Like that? But you have a relationship with this one? Yes, Papa. Who's worried about them? It's him, Papa. It's him? Yes, both of us, we are worried, but they don't share much up with me. They don't share much with me. And yes. she shares with the father. Yes, Papa. And you don't share with them? They don't speak to me. Why don't they speak to you? They are close to their dead, Papa. And that's why you are the one who's worried about them. Yes. And this one is not worried. <laughs> She's worried. <laughs> because she doesn't have friends there. She's worried. But I'm saying he can have four people that he takes care of without them being successful because it will be painful if these women grow because you people are supposed to be somewhere, both of you especially, no? Yes. No? No. Because of disappointments, no? Yes. No? Yes. Yes. So that's what I'm saying. It's supposed to happen, but it can't happen, no? Forget marriage is your, is your touch today. Amen. <laughs> 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 marriage is a touch today no? Amen. God is with you don't worry but all I'm saying please you we just remove that part only no? Amen. we just remove that part only of friendship you get it no? mm-hmm. as I'm saying I'm reminding you of Sophie it was at high school but we had different friends Amen. you remember now no? yes. that's what I'm saying now you had friends but now you, where did you get this problem of legs of which nobody has it high school became mm. You get it, ne? Amen. So Jesus will take you where you have forgotten now. When did you finish your school? 2020. 2020. Amen. But you forgot. Mm-hmm. Let's live for Jesus Christ. <laughs> but God is going to bless you guys. Your family is a respected family. You get it, ne? It's a, respect, it's a beautiful family. God is going to bless you. Thank you, Papa. All I can say, please, just. Yes, Papa, I will try. <laughs> you will try. It's difficult. Only this man is good. That's why I come to him to say it now. This man is not going to be troubled this way. No, no, no. He's worried. He's worried. But you... They can only speak to him. Yes, Papa. Not you. No, Papa. Oh, shame. <laughs> shame. Speak to your daughters. No? Yes, Papa. They need you as well, no? 
Yes, Papa. Yeah, they need to. The mother is the teacher. The father is the instructor. They grew up with their with their father, Papa. So uh, that's why I believe that. That's why they're so attached with their dad. You see, that's what the problem is. That's why you believe that. Stop believing that. Okay, Papa. But let's thank God. He's a good man. You have a good man. A very good thank man. you, Papa. He loves his children. You get it, no? He loves that you have a good man. Let's thank God because uh, can you imagine if he was not like this and you are like this? Can you imagine? Let's think about it. It's going to be a disaster, Papa. <laughs> Yeah, this. I mean, let's let's imagine if your dad was not like this and your mother is like this, how was it going to be like? <laughs> Listen to how she loves it, you carelessly. So. <laughs> Did you hear how she loved it? You can you imagine, yes, Papa. But let's thank God that's what I'm saying. You're a beautiful family. Thank God to have a father like this one, amen. Thank God, guys, amen. And when God blessed you, don't forget Him. We want Don't forget this man. He's a good man. Ne? Amen. He's a good man. That's one thing he's worried about you. Take care of him. And after taking care of him, he will extend it to this one. <laughs> you get it, ne? So God is so how do you feel, guys? How do you feel now? How's the itchiness of your legs? It's gone. It's gone. Amen. Yeah, God loves you. Please. This shall never trouble you anymore. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless you. So you love your children. Yes, Papa, I do. Eh? Yes, Papa, I do. You do. Yes. <laughs> you do. Be close to them. But as I'm saying, let's thank God for such a father. He's the one who says, let's go to church. He's the one who's worried about you. He's Me. the one. That's a good father. That's a good father. That's a good man. And we pray that God blesses him even the more. And he has been the one to even make exploits even for you to be successful. Amen. Amen, Papa. You get it. Amen. Though you get married, but being the anchor, being everything to show you the way. God loves you. God, God is with you guys. Ne? Amen. Bless you. Go give your testimonies. Let's live for Jesus. Let's live for Jesus Christ. We greet you, saints, in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is RTV, where fulfillment is captured. And this is our Friday school, the service of the 8th of November, 2024. And I have with me here, beautiful saints, this wonderful family. And we thank you so much for tuning in to Raboni family. So this beautiful family, our father, Prophet Lissoha Daniel, during uh, his teaching, he located himself, um, uh, this family, while they were sitting he started to speak with a sister first but uh, first thing first I'm going to ask them to introduce themselves tell us their names and as to where they're coming from I will start with the head of the family if I may be allowed to come uh, that side please Papa can you please introduce yourself to the saints out there you know tell us uh, your name and as to where you come from uh, my name is Marja Kumalo I'm coming from Soweto Zola too. Okay, beautiful. And then Mama, can you please introduce yourself to our beautiful saints out there? Tell them your name and as to where you come from. Uh, my name is Surprise Kumalo. I'm from Soweto Zola too. Okay, uh, beautiful saints, we are speaking with Papa Manda here and his beautiful wife, Mama Surprise. And they did not come alone. They came with their three daughters. I'm going to also ask them to introduce themselves. My sister, can you introduce yourself to our beautiful saints out there? You know, tell them your name and as to where you come from. Uh, my name is Nokpila Kumalo and I come from Zolatso. Okay, beautiful. If I may be allowed to come that side and come to my sister here, please introduce yourself. My name is Nondomiso Kumalo and I'm from Zolatu, Soweto. Oh, wonderful. My sister, can you introduce yourself? You know, tell us your name and as to where you come from. And I'm Luanda Kumalo coming from Zolatu, Soweto. Ah, beautiful. Wonderful saints, we are speaking with oh, Baba Manda, no uh, Mama Surprise, as husband and wife, and they came along with their beautiful daughters, that is um, 
Luyanda and Nondumiso and Nokupila. And our father, during, you know, um, the administration, uh, our father managed through the power of the Holy Spirit to know that, you know, the three sisters are experiencing issues of menstrual cycle and then stomach issues. So I'm going to ask them individually, you know, the experiences and as to what is it, you know, they were really going through. And our father even, you know, in the administrations, as we have seen, he explained that, you know, it's a curse and which has been broken down, of course, through the power of prayer. So I will start with um, our our sister, if you can come this side, please. I will start with Luyanda. You, Luyanda, can you please explain to our beautiful viewers out there, you know, the issues of your menstrual cycle, issues or of stomach, when did they start, you know, what is it that you are going through and what is it that you are experiencing? Please, can you take us through? Thank you. So, um, from my side, it's menstruation. Menstruation. So, um, from birth, um, yes, from birth, I didn't start any menstruation till date. And then recently, I think last month, October, I went to to Para to consult, and then they told me that I have e amenorrhea. Yes, it's amenorrhea. Then where, whereby they said um, I do not have e cervix, uterus, and ovaries. Mm. Yes. Mm. And I would I ex experience pains, but the pains were, oh yes, they were severe, but they were not like, they were yes, and not every day, but sometimes, mm. yes. Mm. And how did that hinder you, you know, from your day-to-day -day life, you know, as a female, as a young woman? At first, um, I didn't worry because I thought um, I will, by time, they will come, they will come. So um, now in my early 20s, I was stressed, more especially after consulting. Then they said I have that disease. So yes, and I became stressed and I will say, yeah, I, I was stressed. Yes, mm. yes. And w w did the doctor give you any medication or any pills a as a result of this? No, they didn't. They just took my blood and then they said I will come from for each checkup next week, uh, next month, February, ne next year, February 20, 26. Mm. 2025, mm. yes. Mm. So if maybe we can uh, speak to um, our sister. Um, uh, can you please, you know, um, Noku, Nondu me. So thank you so much. Uh, can you just take us through, you know, through your experience as we have seen in your ministration, our father, you know, uh, spoke about your belly being big as a result of this, you know, uh, case, you know, of cycle that is unstable. Just take us through as to, you know, how were you feeling? What is it that you're experiencing in terms of this? Okay, as for me, I had a, a very big belly and it was a confusion, especially for doctors to actually come to a solution or to a diagnosis of where of what is it that is that I have. So from last year I had irregular uh, periods as for my menstruational as for my menstruation cycle. So I went to the doctors it started last year and then it, it came back this year up to date. So I went to the doctors last year and they referred me to the gynecologist and they uh, I went to the doctor the doctor told me that I have cysts and I was so worried and it, it stressed me so much especially at work it really stressed it stressed me so much so I went to the hospital the gynecologist I uh, found nothing so it came back again this year I'd say April my stomach uh, gradually became bigger and bigger and bigger and we didn't find any solution about that Mm. Yes. Mm. So as a result of this big belly, how did it make you feel, you know, as a young woman, as a female person? Actually, it was stressing me so much. And because as for my image and my appearances, many people thought oh, I'm, 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 I'm pregnant and everything. So it affected so many spheres of my life. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And then if you can come to our sister, um, can you please, you know, tell us your experience, you know, as to what is it that you went through in terms of what our father, you know, revealed, you know, unstable cycle, you know, stomach issues. What is it that you went through, our sister? Um, I had a, I had pay I had a problem with menstruation, big uh, number pains. Mm. So I didn't have a big belly. Mm. So yeah, I feel good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So in terms of these pains, did you take any medication? You know, how did you cope as a result of these pains? Mm, no, I didn't. I didn't take medication. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I mean, I thought would see it will come and uh, variety until I came here. So, a mm. uh, pastor he prayed for me, so I feel good. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, what are words of appreciation? Um. Uh. Now that our father, Prophet Lesoho Daniel, has prayed for you, you know he's been used by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Like you know your words of being. Thankful now that U Baba Liseho Daniel prayed for you. Mm, I would like to thank Papa Pastor Liseho. Mm. Would see he prayed for me, so I am healed now. Mm. Amen. Amen. Blessed viewers, our sister here is saying, you know. As for her, she did not experience any big belly, but it was just pains as a result. But he feels good now that our father, Prophet Lesoho Daniel, prayed for her. And she's very thankful, you know, for God to use our father, Prophet Lesoho Daniel. You know, and if I can come to Uluyanda. Again, you know, as we have seen in your ministration, our father mentioned the issue of itchy legs, which, you know, is emanating from high school. He even mentioned, uh, you know, the name Sophie. Uh, can you please take us through that? Do you even recall, you know, this character that our father, you know, had mentioned? And in terms of your itchy legs, you know, what is it that you know you went through in terms of this? Yes, I do recall the name of the character Sophia and um, the itchy legs. At first, I didn't know, but see, it was spiritual. So, because now it has been brought to my light and understanding and wisdom that um, it was spiritual, now I know better and I will do better. Mm. Yes. And our father also, you know, pertaining to your ministration, uh, she, he has specifically mentioned the issue of, you know, friends coming into your life and, you know, some friends, they might not have, you know, good intentions. And he also mentioned the issue of, you know, some friends touching you, you know, in the wrong manner. Uh, well, what can you, you know, explain to our beautiful viewers out there with regards to this? Um, I can explain. Okay, I would I would give advice more. We see, they must be more careful because uh, we do not know what our friends' intentions about our lives. So we must be very more careful. We see what do they do to us and let us be stingy about ourselves. Mm. Yes. Mm. And uh, do you recall, you know, um, any uh, bad company? Uh, uh, coming into your life because our father even mentioned that you would realize this and you know it's a warning now that god has blessed you that don't let it to be you know contaminated um is it true are you confirming what our father prophet Lesoho daniel had mentioned yes i do i do confirm but see it's true um i did now as i look back as old as i am so when i look back i see who re, um they were a play, they were a, play, a bad influence it's just that i was naive and ignorant and young so i couldn't see their intention about my life mm. yes mm. And what words of advice do we have you know to other young women out there or you know even um even uh, I would say girls that are at high school, we know that now you have finished high school, but what a words of advice can you say to this light that has been given to you by our father, Prophet Lesoho Daniel? 
Mm, I will say, uh, be more careful and also pray. Mm. That's all. Mm. Yes. Mm. And if we can maybe come to uh, our sister, uh, now that our father, Prof. Lesoda Nelino, has prayed for you, you know, life and light has been ministered unto you, you know, how is your belly, you know, feeling, um, how are you feeling, you know, in terms of your mind, uh, your soul prior to um, uh, prayer? Uh, as for me, I feel joy unspeakable and I thank God so much for what he has done through his um, servant, Pastor Lissiho Daniels. And yeah, um, my belly, I'm feeling very li- relieved and yes, I'm healed. Mm. Praise God. Mm. Beautiful. If uh, maybe I can come to oh, oh, Baba Mandla, uh, Papa, you know, um, what words of appreciation or what can you say, uh, you know, with regards to, you know, your beautiful girls now that Papa Lesoho Daniel has prayed for them as we have seen in your ministration, you know, Baba Lesoho even mentioned that, you know, you were so stressed with regards to what your children, you know, were going through. Now that Baba Lesoho has prayed for them, you know, he even declared marriage no longer limitations or stagnation now it will be blessing going forward what can you say you know to other fathers out there in terms of what your kids were going through and now that ubabale soho daniel has declared blessing upon their lives you know i wanted to come here maybe last last week yeah i wanted to come here so uh, this week I, I thank god that i came so i thank god for delivering my children so because now I'm happy yeah. about them, yeah. yeah, because I love my family. That's why I, I took them to come here of in this anointing. Mm. So now I'm very happy about mm. God. Mm. Yes. Mm. Beautiful. If maybe, Mama, can you come this side, please? We thank God so much. So, uh, Mama Surprise, what can you say about, you know, what our father, Prof. Lesoho Daniel, declared upon your beautiful daughters? You know, no longer limitations, no longer, you know, a big belly, you know, itchy legs. You know, our father has prayed for them. Uh, our father, Prof. Lesoho Daniel, even declared marriage, you know, upon your beautiful daughters. What can you say, you know? about the Holy Spirit who is making this day possible. You know, God has healed your family. You know, what can you say? Uh, Firstly, I want to thank my husband for taking this step. And then I'm very happy for what God has done for my family. So for me, it's a privilege. And I would like to thank um, Pastor Lesiho for everything that uh, God has revealed to him. Oh, wonderful. Uh, maybe if we can come to um, Sister Luyanda, can you come this side, please? You know, we have seen in the, you know, in the, in your ministration, guys, that uh, um, if I may ask, is it your first time coming here today, all of you? Yes, it's our first time. Oh, beautiful. And uh, just, you know, take us through, you know, uh, if, as we have seen in your ministration that, you know, um, your father called all of you that, you know, we're going to church. I, I, I'm just trying to ask as to how did you felt when, oh, you know, your father said, you know, we're going to church, all of us. We were very, very, very happy. We were very, very happy because um, I think, we were waiting for this moment. Mm. So, yes, we were very happy. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. And uh, my sister, if you can just come here, as we have seen also in your ministration, you even mentioned that, you know, you took a day off. You know, Obaba called you that, you know, we're going to church. Just take us through a little bit in terms of that. Wow, oh, I was looking for so looking forward of coming here, and uh, I I trusted God so much on my way here that yes, Father, we will receive our breakthrough, and indeed, God is faithful. 
we, he, he, he did just that for us. So I'm very grateful. All the glory to God. Mm. Amen. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Baba, maybe if I can just, you know, end with you that, you know, what words of advice can you give to other fathers out there in terms of, you know, what your family was going through? You know, a word of encouragement, you know, word of advice uh, to other fathers out there. Uh, the fathers must love their family. Yeah. That's only. Mm. Yeah, they must love their family mm. so that they can see if there is a problem mm. in their family. Mm. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. So, you know, maybe if you can speak on behalf of your sisters, you know, how does it feel to have a father who loves you so much? You know, it's not, uh, I would say, um, and a day-to-day -day thing that you find, you know, a man, you know, taking the whole family saying, you know, we're going to church. We know, you know, what is happening there, out there in the world. How do you feel, guys, having a father who loves God so much? You know, he wants to see his family in Christ, you know, being blessed. And of course, our father declared blessings upon all of you. Well, uh, all I can say is that words can't describe how we, we feel, but we just give all the glory to God, as I would say, for giving us such a father. He's one in a million. He raised us uh, in Christ, and he's still pushing us in Christ. So all the glory to God. Mm. Amen. All right. We really thank God. Blessed saints, you know, this is a wonderful testimony and we believe that this beautiful family will come with another testimony over and above this one. We really thank God because, you know, God had enlightened, God restored, God strengthened, and even marriages are declared no longer, you know, um, big bellies, no longer itchy legs, no longer, you know, uh, abnormal cycles. They that, you know, we don't even understand what is the reason. We really thank God because our father, Prophet Sohodanel, has cut, you know, all the evil spirit, all that was spiritual. So we really thank God from above. So from us, blessing saints, it is to God be the glory.